Jim Truesdale. My job is the managing director of PT Sampson Tierra Safety Training. Today's mission was twofold. One was to see how well we could judge the fires inside a building. And the second one was to see how well that we could feed this back to a command and control center so that the people in charge can actually work with the fire people on the ground to give them direction as to where the fire is and how the best way is to approach the fire. The traditional methods would take longer. You would have to go around the building and check it. Normally you had have a handheld thermal camera that you can pick hot spots and see what you have and size up basically how much water you're going to need, how many hoses you're going to need, how many fire trucks you're going to need, how much personnel you're going to need. And by using a drone, we can do that much quicker. So today we were using the DJI Matrix 30T with the Flight Hub 2, and we had a high spec thermal camera on board. So we was able to monitor the people. We was able to monitor the temperatures. We was able to pick the the seat of the fire. That information was being fed back into the command and control center. So the people running the command and control center could actually see what was going on, monitor the personnel, and talk to the personnel via radio to make sure everything was going good inside. The drones can actually monitor the fire while we're putting the fire out or controlling the fire. And we can actually see the temperatures as they rise or fall. And we would be able to tell if there's another fire breaks out in the building due to convection or any other problems that the heat can cause. So if we have people in the building and we notice that there's another fire broke out, we can give them warning that there is another fire above them or beside them. One of the challenges that we had today is the fact that we are working in very close proximity to high lines and trees. So it does take a very patient and trained operator to be able to handle it in tight situations, which is another reason that we're really looking forward to doing the training and being able to teach people how to calmly handle it in an emergency situation. By using the drone with a heat camera, you can map the fire and see where the fire is before you actually start trying to attack it or cut the fuel off or whatever you need to do. I think that drones can play a very big role in firefighting. We can go in and size a fire up with a drone. We can do it a lot faster with the drone than we could do it manually. And a lot of the times we can actually pick out the seat of the fire by using infrared and seeing where the hot spots are around the building that we're working with.